now the latest on May 21st around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Subtropical storm Andrea has formed in the western Atlantic today, making it 26 storms that have been named this year so far, the average is 91. Andrea, the only named storm out here right now that deserves its status. There is one in the South Atlantic, though, that the Brazilians think is a subtropical storm. We, however, don't think so. Andrea is there, uh, located to the southwest of Bermuda. We'll pick it up shortly. Day 7 of hurricane season in the eastern Pacific, 91E, still alive, 30% chance of development in the next five days. No systems are active in the western Pacific or in the North Indian Ocean. And elsewhere in the Southern Hemisphere, Invest 95P struggles on, but is really losing its shape. So the main feature is, of course, Andrea, 40 miles an hour, 1,006 millibars, according to the National Hurricane Center's advisory, which came out not too long ago. 29.2 north, 68.3 west makes it 295 miles from Bermuda. This is what we expect over the coming days, the system to move towards the north and then dive towards the east, weakening into the later part of this week and then turning post-tropical as it passes Bermuda and eventually moving off towards the northeastern Atlantic. Of course, it will be long gone by then from any semblance of tropicality or subtropicality. Here is the system, not easily denoted on this imagery, uh, but you can see uh, there's high wind shear over and increasing as it moves further north. In the eastern Pacific, 91E is still there, quite visible, five knots of wind shear. It is going to get worse still by the looks of things. Here's another look at Andrea. This is what it looks like on the satellite imagery with that wind shear, 25 knots. And this here is Invest 95P, very little left of this system, which was sheared to death, uh, although it is starting to decrease, ironically. Now, uh, North Atlantic satellite looks like this. So you can see the mess that caused Andrea there, but it is certainly a subtropical storm in its own right. Um, there it is slowly churning towards the north, rather broad, especially towards the north and east. Um, that's where most of its convection is. Elsewhere in the Gulf of Mexico, it's very quiet. Um, lots of moisture further north, though, where those severe weather outbreaks are occurring in the central part of the United States. In the Eastern Pacific, apart from Invest 91E, it's a very quiet again. Uh, I'm sounding a bit like a broken record in this region. It is a very quiet, um, although it usually does start this way with the odd storm or two. The Western Pacific is pretty much equally as quiet. Um, a little area of interest over the Marshall Islands, uh, but really nothing to write home about whatsoever. Um, the Philippine Sea is desolate and the South China Sea is equally abject. The Australian region looks like this, you can just, out, just about make out the outline of Australia. Invest 95P dominating the right hand side of your screen, although it has completely fizzled out and fallen apart in those latest frames. The Indian Ocean looking pretty quiet, uh, some equatorial convection, uh, but really very little going on here too. Latest sea surface temperatures have temperatures of around 30 degrees Celsius where Invest 91E is. Where Andrea is, temperatures are borderline, around 25, 26 degrees Celsius. Um, it probably won't turn tropical, but stranger things have happened. Over there in the South Atlantic, similar temperatures actually for that potential cyclone down there. The Indian Ocean, very warm, especially in the Arabian Sea, but no systems to develop or, and capitalize on that. Western Pacific, the same goes down there, and where 95p is, temperatures around 27 degrees Celsius for the latest sea surface temperatures on that one. So that is what we're looking at first, they're in no particular order, but this is what Invest 95p is looking like in those latest frames. Uh, it's dying a death. It really tried to become a tropical cyclone and maybe there were one or two arguments for it to be a tropical cyclone when you look back through the imagery. But ultimately it never got its name and the South Pacific is still waiting for its next named storm. It's been waiting quite a while now. I can't think how long it's been but it certainly feels like it's been a very drab season down there this time around. Uh, good news for Fiji though that it has completely disintegrated before getting anywhere near. This is Subtropical Storm Andrea and how it's been progressing, convection firing not too far from the centre, just towards the north. 
Um, most of it is displaced to the north. And Bermuda is on that screen there as well, so cloud cover associated with Andrea is already reaching the island. And uh, I don't think we're going to get too many bad conditions in Bermuda, but slow, steady rainfall perhaps. Here's the South Atlantic disturbance that the Brazilians have named Jaguar. Uh, they are calling it a subtropical storm. Uh, we don't think it, it has the uh, characteristics required uh, for that status. We'll let you be the judges of that in the meantime. So, Andrea, the first name of the Atlantic naming system, the first system to light up on our first screen panel there um, as we tick through the naming list and the days of the year. May 21st, 26 storms so far. Um, and who knows when the next one might be. The next name's Barry. Sepat is the next name in the Western Pacific, Vayu in the North Indian Ocean. You can find our outlets, the website, force13.com, for the latest information around the world on everything weather-wise. Uh, of course, you can follow Force 13 on YouTube if you're not there already. Subscribe if you haven't. Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13, all in text. The next name in Australia is Blake, and still elusive to Fiji, the next name on their naming list is Rita. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description.